Tuesday in Hollywood. How good God is in that he forced me to paint here. It's looking amazing. Our group, our painting is still entitled. I have so many potential names. I wanted to just tell you how amazing good God is. When I first came with this idea, I can't paint here. I asked my pastor. My pastor said no. A little bit at first, like, shoot, there's so much space here. Our church has so much space. And Theoretically, I could. He said he was concerned about violence, like someone would see it through the window or whatever, but I, I think there are areas in the church, I don't know, I didn't want to argue about it. I just took him, you know, learned, try not to argue with people, just submit. That's my Viper Room buddy, part of the management there. But as he knew, God knew this is what I need to do because I need to live with these paintings. When I do something this big and this epic, I'm seeing now, I wake up in the morning and I'm sitting on this couch and I'm just living with this and I see so many things. I don't know why that's there. It just happened during painting and it kind of looked like a globe or a moon or a planet. You're not gonna see if you don't live with a painting. And there was a time that I was thinking this should be Mount Rushmore over here. I was wondering if I, if I do a future version or iteration of this painting. I think I want to make this Mount Rushmore. So my point is how amazingly God, how good God is in that he forced me to paint here. It's so amazing. I see, I've got to live with this painting. I wake up and I see this. I live with it and it gives me so much time to pray and hear God and hear his voice and meditate and think about all these things, these decisions. There's so many creative decisions to make. Like I said, with the, should I make that Mount Rushmore? No, I don't think I'm not this time. I even had an idea, but I think it'd be amazing. Saturday Night Fever Trump. And put him in a white suit and have the finger pointing in the air instead of the fist. Basically gonna have a month or however long we're gonna live with this and I'm just going to be able to think and ponder and look and absorb. That's why this painting is going to end up so, it's it's going to be great. And I'm not, I'm not trying to put down my competition, but the paintings I saw so far, I've seen two, and they were obviously done very, very quickly. Somebody saw an opportunity, they cranked them out in like a week. But for me, oil is the only, for, for what I do, finishing up, God is good. He forced me to live with this painting, forced me to paint in this little small space because he knew that I would need to spend hours and hours living with this painting, getting from him, hearing from him, making, it's going to make me make all these amazing choices. But how to, how to fix the suit. His suit's not black. You know, I've got to fix that color, tone it down a little, mix in a little gray, a little white. I gotta get these suit colors perfect. That's way too blue. This is strange. This arm coming across here is weird. That's another creative decision. Also, just thinking about like the frame is gonna cover some of the edges. How's that gonna work? I don't wanna get up too close to the fist. There's a lot of things like this that I mean, it's the details that make this great. And these are things that I need to be aware of and thinking about and pondering them that you don't just crank it out in a day or in a couple of days museum quality and i need to be living with it like all days